but if you tell me evidence, what the evidence processing, um, or the evidence function is costing, you know, and is that up in the left, is that shop? What does that say? It's going to be a, uh, it's a storage room. Storage, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, if, if I could, if we could get the cost, the, the cost the way they're presented here doesn't, I know that might be helpful for bidding, but for, for us it's not that meaningful, it's more meaningful like what the booking cost and what the evidence is costing, because the guy who was here, I think he was from Zimmerman the last time, and he was talked, so like, how much of the, of the 522 is related to evidence, and evidence processing, and you know, he was talking about, you know, it sounded like basically an evidence lab, and, you know, I guess I'm not, will be helped, do you know how much is evidence? Mm. Of the 522? No, not off the top of my head. You did, you did request that last week. Yeah, it's just, you, it's just easier for us to inter inter interpret it in, by, fun room? by functional area. Functional area or, or room by room? I don't know. No, just just by just by area, like investigators, like the evidence investigator. I mean, it looks like it's in the interview rooms, investigators offices, evidence storage, right? Basically. So, if you were to do something like that, would you have to do things like uh, allocate costs of uh, fire protection to a room, allocate costs of security systems to each individual room? They do, though. I mean, that's. I, I don't think that that's necessary for this project at all. Well, I, I, I just, I, you know, the, two, I mean, I'll just say, two B is not in the long range plan anywhere. It's a, a, we're looking at an extra, you know, basically million dollar in costs that we hadn't anticipated. Um, I think it would be there if there's no, if there's, if there's. If there, if, if there's not going to be any consideration of, you know, are there are there certain things here that maybe we could downsize or reduce the scope somehow? I mean, I just, I, I'm not sure what the plan is for for the garage. I mean, I don't. We take a lot of time when we do the long range plan. We take a lot of time thinking about it. And considering the many other things that we have to fund, including vehicles from the police department, roads, alleys, sewer, you know, there's a lot on our plate. Um, and so I just, I really don't know, you know, what to say about funding for the garage at this point, because it just hasn't been, you know, something we, we've been, you know, planning for. Right. So. In the phase 2A, what is the masonry, the 75,000, is that a fire break? Or? In 2A, most of the walls in that 2A area are estimated as masonry right now. And that's really for the operational um, longevity of the space and the way it's used to make it more durable. That's common practice in these types of facilities. In the HVAC, is the internal ducting? Correct. And I think as John, who was here last time from Zimmerman Architects, was alluding to, the evidence areas are t tend to be a higher cost area for that, the security, the HVAC systems. So yeah, we could lump this into, you know, maybe some categories where the evidence and the interview rooms uh, are, are higher in costs, and then obviously the storage rooms are less inexpensive. So, but... Uh, if that's what would help categorize this for you, I guess we, we can certainly do that. But where, where are you estimating how many square footed feet is this 2A, and what's the average cost per square foot to, to do this renovation of the space? Compared to, compared to phase one, too, interesting to know. I'm just looking that up. Is there any Isn't that the same question? It basically, because you're just saying what's the cost per square foot, and you're saying what's the cost per room, and you divide it by the square foot. It's the same thing. You're, 
you're getting at, which is what is the construction cost per square foot of a room? And it, I think they have to do, what I heard was, they have to do a little more, you know, like President Johnson said. I bet it just take the cost of sewer and what is like, see how many square feet it is to get the cost per square foot. Correct. That doesn't take care of doing it by room. I, I don't have the square footage in handy. I apologize, but we could certainly do that exercise. We we do that often to make sure that things are lining up. So, for example, you know, the the first phase probably was around 120 bucks a square foot. So, 2A would typically be in that same range. Might be a little bit higher because it's a smaller space. I heard from the from the architect that drew that it was going to be significantly higher, almost double, for the lab. So I think by room you would see which is the most expensive. Um, I mean that's I think what, what Trustee Mendes is getting to is you know which function you could take the whole cost and divide it up by square footage, or you could do it by room, and you'll see that the lab is I think the most expensive the room. Is that correct? Probably. And. And then what are we supposed to do with that? Not do the lab, right? No. I, well, do we have a lab now? Do we have an evidence lab now? I think lab is uh, not the right term per se, but I think what he's talking about is like the lock, the pass-through lockers, right? So right now we have, um, they'll have the lockers that are built into the wall. And so on one side is the evidence workup room, is really what it's typically called. And on the other side of that wall is the evidence room. Okay, so the officers will package the evidence. Um, now with opiates and everything like that, we plan on having some type of um, a vacuum uh, hood in there so that the officers, when they test the drugs, they'll be vented. Um, we, there's been two cases in Menasha right now of officers that have been um, exposed to opiates and had to be Narcan to save their life. Uh, because when they tested the drugs, the opiate, uh, the, the, the um, carfentanil gets into the air, and if you breathe it in, you can go down like that. So majority of departments are buying these hoods where the officers can go, and they actually will put their arms through these things, and they'll test the drugs inside there, and it escapes out there. So you're looking at those types of costs, and then the, pet, like the lockers, right? So officers package the evidence, They'll store it in the locker, and those are built into the, the masonry wall. And then on the other side of that, the evidence custodian is able to go in there and open up the door, and all the evidence is there. So those are the types of things that are a little bit more costly than just the regular wall. Um, so when we say lab, um, I guess it's got a lab feel to it, but it'll have a table, it'll have um, cabinets which are, are um, to be in there the venting hood that would be in there. Um, and that's really about it. We're not talking about any like real surgical stuff, but it's just more costly, I think, than a wall, right? I mean, that's my impression. So, Trustee um, Rosie? I think what, what we're requesting is the total overall budget is, we're just, if we didn't have the repairs, the unexpected repairs that we didn't factor into our total overall budget, we would be doing, we would be onto the you know garage with the money that we have. Now we are faced with costly repairs that the chief is recommending, which I don't, I probably agree, but that are taking away from the construction of the future phase because that funding is being shifted for repairs. And so you're faced with two things as a, an elected official who's looking at a budget. One is you can succumb to it and just say, okay, we're gonna have to, in the next year's long range plan, just put in more money that's to build the rest of it. Um, another option is maybe we need to see if there are any things that we can downsize on the next phase. And I think that's what the request was, is what are the components of these rooms? and and Maybe we don't, but at least to have the information available, like like the lockers are twenty one thousand. I'm sure they they make the job better. I don't know if they're required. So just understanding what if all the pieces of the puzzle are required for two A before we go ahead and approve it, because once we approve these repairs, the funding for two B 
which is your garage, and the funding for free disappears. We don't have any anymore. And so that was an unexpected change. Um, so we haven't changed anything to the project, and, I, and what we're trying to figure out is, is there anything we can change to save some money before authorizing the next phase? Where are we in the overall? Is the, um, uh, three point five. We're at three point five, two and a half of the building, a million phase one. In our original total project, we got phase one. Oh, we're at phase one. We got Riley. What were we at with the garage without the community room? About the community room, I think. Full phase two. We're about a million over. Yeah, about yeah. a little less than that, but yeah, we're, yeah. yeah. A million over is with the uh, yeah. replacement roof and the HVAC. And Correct. Can you, are the HVAC systems getting to the useful life, into the useful life, or is it just yeah. okay? They've been evaluated by a couple HVAC contractors at this point, and they okay. all have said the systems are very, very old. And the roof is also the roof is also so very nice. So those yeah. are like if you had a house, you got to fix your roof. And Co correct. And I think I, I did want to note it. We tried to identify those. I think during the last approval process, I think we kind of talked about there being some maintenance items that were probably even on that original spreadsheet, but mm -hmm. we didn't know when we wanted to do that or how we were going to fund it. So it was. I think it was talked about. Wasn't necessarily established when it needed to be done. But was it, that's my question, was it, was it, I, I remember that, I remember talking about that in committee and in board, but did we know about it when we purchased the building is the big question because, you know, we can identify it after we set the budget and that doesn't help us very much because we can't do anything about it after that. Sure. I don't know if uh, there was an actual inspection report. I, I don't recall if it was put into writing per se, but I remember talking about it uh, very early on when Riley was brought into the process only because of the tower uh, that's there and the icicles that fall from the tower and then it was identified you know that that does damage to the roof and they've had to repair it multiple times and some of those things so yeah I, I haven't seen it in, in the inspection So I'd like, I mean, Trustee Rose asked a question that I, I'm also interested in the answer of whether there's any, anything we could simplify in terms of functions that are in 2A that might save some cost. You know, I, I, my answer to that would be I, those are the bare minimum, to be honest. I, I, I have not, I mean, we don't have, right now we're using the, the, this back portion of the garage for our evidence. So this door is currently here. We have this set up right now back here for our evidence workup room, which is in kind of the open warehouse. And then there's that wall, um, the pre-existing wall, and our evidence is being stored in here. Um, in the, where it used to be with all the computer lab, or the printing machines are at. Um, and this right now, so, uh, the wall, I think it's this portion of it right here is where the evidence is at. And this is open. Uh, the investigators are down here, back in this area. So there, this is an existing room that was there. So our detective bureau is actually currently back here. Um, and then uh, the only, you know, roll call and evidence are the only other two, and then two interview rooms. Because the only interview rooms we have are inside the uh, the booking room, so I mean we I like it. I think that's the bare. Uh, if there's a savings, I think the savings would come somewhere with talking about what we're going to do with the garage. Well, I have a question though. If you're doing the functions now, if you look at the two A budget, you know we're going to be purchasing twenty one thousand six hundred lockers. You know I guess is that a requirement or or does it just make the job easier? Um, signs, there's 8,500 budgeted for signs. I don't know if that's like bathroom signs or if that's signs for, I, I'm not sure what that is. There's 30,000, <clears> there's actually 60,000 in furniture. 
Um, oh no, that's for the rush. It's 30,000 in AV and IT hardware and furnishings. What are we using now? I, it, so those are just the questions I, that I have. Like, just understanding that everything is critical would, would help me a lot. Like, knowing that lockers are required by, you know, state government or federal law and, and it's critical. And I feel comfortable, you know, going ahead. It's just that we're over budget. And if it, it and I just want to understand that they're not wants, they're more of needs. Sure. I mean, so, you know, just break it down to the lockers. So you could do gym lockers for, <coughs> I don't know, half. Um, you know, you could do some of those things. I think in the long run, you know, I don't know that that's the right thing to do. Yes, we could save 10000 here, 5000 there. I just don't know 10, 15, 20 years from now um, if that would be the right thing. And that's all. And we could certainly, you know, we could, we could do that. That's, that's a choice that, um, you know, you guys have to make. We're just kind of, so could you get 